Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Ruble Solutions. In this video, we will know about another chapter of Gem of Life, a book for moral values, chapter 2, King Midas and the Golden Torch. The words of wisdom, contentment is like an underground river whose course just cannot be daunted. Once a king lived in ancient country of Priyagya. He was very greedy. Bohat greedy tha. His name was Mida. He was one of the richest king in the world. He loved gold more than anything else in the world. Usko gold sabse zada pyara tha. Though he had thousands of pots filled with gold coins and jewels, he wanted to get more and more gold. During daytime, he thought of gold and at night, he dreamt only of gold. One night, King Midas saw a strange dream. In his dream, he saw an angel coming to him. He got surprised. He said, Who are you? How did you enter my room and why? Don't be afraid, the angel replied. I won't do any harm to you. I am an angel. I have come here to congratulate you on your being the richest king of the world. You have very large amount of gold. Aapke paas kya hai? Bohat amount of gold hai. No king on the earth poses as much gold as you have. मतलब किसी के पास भी इतना गोल्ड नहीं है जितना आपके पास है नो डाउट सर सेड मीडास आई हैव वेरी लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ गोल्ड इन माई ट्रेजर बट देर आर अदर किंग पोजेज मोर गोल्ड देन आई हैव सो आई एम नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द गोल्ड आई हैव आई वॉन्ट टू गेट मोर एंड मोर गोल्ड सो दैट आई कुड बिकम द रिचेस्ट किंग ऑन द अर्थ द एंजल सेड If it is so, I can give you as much gold as you wish. Tell me how much gold do you want, and it shall be yours for the for the asking. Mida thought for a moment and said, "Sir, my wish is that whatever I touch should turn into gold. जो भी मैं छूँ, वो गोल्ड का बन जाए." All right," said the angel. "From now onwards, everything you touch." will turn into gold so saying the angel vanished the king caught up and thought about the dream he had just had he wondered if there was any truth in it he looked at his hands there was no change in them he touched his tables which at once turned into gold he was so happy he got down the bed and danced with joy he touched some article in his room and they all turned gold Now I will be the happiest and the richest king on the earth," he said to himself. But now it was breakfast time. He sat on the table. He picked up a banana to eat. Oh my God! But he could not eat it, as the banana also turned into gold. When he tried to drink milk, it also turned into gold. So he could not eat or drink anything. He became very sad. Midas had a beautiful and lovely daughter. Her name was Mary Gold. He loved her very much. She came to him. No sooner did he touch her than she turned into gold. She stood like a beautiful statue made of gold with the sign of life in it. Tears welled up in the eyes of Midas as he could not could. neither eat nor drink anything and his dear daughter stood like beautiful golden doll oh na kha sakte hain na pee sakte hain aur apne bacche ko bhi gold ka bana diya just then the angel appeared there king midas at once fell on his feet and begged for mercy oh angel please forgive me he said crying the angel asked What more do you want, Midas? Haven't you had enough gold now, sir? Please forgive me. 
I have realized that gold is not all in the life. I don't have want any gold. I want food, water, and my dear daughter. Please have pity on me," said Midas. The angel gave a jug full of water to him and asked to wash his hands. With Midas followed his instructions. His his hands become normal. Midas thanked the angel and said. But how shall I bring my daughter to life? The angel touched the daughter, and she turned into her former state. Soon, the angel vanished. Dear children, these days people hanker over money. Everyone wants to collect more and more wealth by hook or crook. But remember, money is not everything. People like Midas are never satisfied. A greedy person can never be happy at all. One contentment leads to peace in human being. We must always count our blessings. God has given us number of things, and we must be thankful to Him for them. Greediness makes people do wrong things. Greedy people have the nature to exploit others. They cheat, defraud, and try to gain wealth by unfair means, as greed destroys the peace of their mind. They see the glitter of other people's wealth and feel discontented. Contentment is more precious than a kingdom. Okay, contentment is more precious than a kingdom. Nowadays, world material amenities are increasing day by day, and due to contentment, honesty, <laughs> and patience are decreasing. People have become materialistic in their attitude. One more story. Once a king went to a saint and requested, "I wish to free myself." Of all the worry, one bar a king saint ke pas gaya and he said that I want to free myself. Please guide me how I can be happy and content. Me kaise khush aur sukhi reh sakta hu, content reh sakta hu. The saint thought for a moment and said, "O oh king, there is one way in which you can fulfill your wish. You must sleep for one night in the shirt of a happy man." The king. Sent his soldiers to each and every part of his kingdom to bring the shirt of the happy man. The soldiers met thousands of people, but everyone had some or other worry. Nobody was found to be truly, completely happy. At last, they found a poor beggar. The soldier asked the beggar, "Are you really happy?" The beggar replied in affirmative. The soldier said, "Your king." Is in need of your help. He wants your shirt only for one night. The beggar laughed and said, "I am sorry, I am unable to help my king. But why, if you don't give your shirt on request, we shall force you to take it away?" Said the soldiers, "I am sorry, I haven't put the shirt. I have, I, I don't have the shirt and the." Said the beggar to the soldiers. When the king came to know, he realized the importance of contentment. A th thirsty deer became the victim of mirage in the desert. Mirage, पता है ना? दिखाया था ना? जो दिखाई देता है कि पानी है, लेकिन पानी नहीं होता है. तो जो thirsty deer होता है, वो किसका victim बनता है? Mirage का. और फिर मर जाता है. In the same way, a greedy person can never be content and remain under tension. Discontentment is the chief cause of frustration, evasion, insecurity, mistrust. Nivedita of America had offered a huge amount of money to Swami Vivekananda ji, but Swami Swami Vivekananda ji refused the money and asked her to use it for helpless poor people. Contentment is like a underground river whose course just cannot be daunted. fresh water and its sources on the surface of earth is always at risk of pollution or being dried up 
used, drunk or drawn on. However, subterrain water is untapped. Contentment is sane. The contentment is great virtue. The moral of the story is greed leads to destruction. So always be content. I hope this chapter, this story is useful and now you can learn and uh, narrate yourself the story without the book also. The important point to remember is contentment is more precious than the kingdom. A thirsty deer become the victim of mirage and finally dies and discontentment is the chief cause of frustration. So these types of questions can come in filling the blank. That is their in point to remember. Okay. And now this is the exercise. If you want that I should solve the exercise for you, then you can comment uh, in the below video and I will do the do this part also. But now I am just giving you the exercise and please solve it yourself. Thank you so much for all the support. Love, love. Have a nice day.